good evening today i want to talk about a subject which i spoke on a television channel yesterday it was in tamil for the first time in regional channels cryptocurrency has made headline news like always it's always they come to lock the stable door after the horse has bolted and now the discussion was because the prime minister held a conference with all stakeholders in the government on what to do with this cryptocurrency problem shaktikant das has washed his hands off clearly he has said boss we went to the supreme court the supreme court said there is no law where there is no law you cannot ban it therefore i am helpless but this is going to be a big attack on the macroeconomic stability of india and i am not acceptable to this i cannot do anything the finance ministry has not passed any law and they have been sleeping over it for one year and i am not responsible now why did the prime minister hold a meeting because in all front pages of all newspapers and an ipl where the prime minister's best friend son is running the ipl tournament the all the advertisements was extolling the greatness of cryptocurrency now most of us think when there is a cryptocurrency the currency is only bitcoin you are mistaken bitcoin is not traded much bitcoin is used only as an advertisement to lure the mice like we use a masal bada to catch a mice Bitcoin is being used to catch all the mice in tier two and tier three town. The scheme that is being used is multi-level marketing. Basically, for unknown coins, people are asked to recruit hundreds of people. I invest thirty thousand rupees. If I recruit ten people, my thirty thousand comes back to me, and then the chain continues. And this is why you have lot of people who have made money. In my own area of Tripleken, I know of a boy. who was working in a retail showroom making 80 to 90000 rupees he did the same thing the cryptocurrency in some place in dubai he collected 5 crores from so many people and the currency vanished overnight the where the boy is today nobody knows he has disappeared because everybody who gave him 5 crores is sitting outside his house this is going to break open across the country because in all advertisements they have clearly said there is no regulator in india there are three regulators there is a regulator for insurance there is a regulator for sebi and the call for for capital markets and there is a reserve bank of india which looks at the financial systems apart from that to regulate companies you have mca none of these guys can regulate this cryptocurrency market nowhere in the world there is regulation china has moved one step and has banned cryptocurrency very clearly if the reserve bank had been listened to Nirmala Sitaraman had moved and banned bank transactions for cryptocurrency this wouldn't have become a big problem i'll just start with bitcoin bitcoin is cost about $60000 they are now saying 100 rupees to a we can give you a slice of a bitcoin so you have to have 45000 people with 100 rupees to think of a bitcoin who are that 45000 people nobody knows those 45000 people have not met each other whether there is a bitcoin or there is no bitcoin we don't know so this is what is happening most of these currencies are traded in the dark net what do i mean in the dark net if i google i cannot find it so this is what i mean by dark net and in all the small towns people are mining these currencies and why are they mining this there are two reasons one the reserve bank has decreased interest rates low so low banks are able to borrow at 4 and 1/2% and 4 and 1/2% does not cost cover the cost of inflation people are looking for bigger returns so when my neighbor next door has made a lot of money then i don't want to be the one who missed out this is plain psychology so when my neighbor makes a lot of money i want to rush into it i rush into it and this is how a bubble grows and that is what is happening and in fact advertisements have said the returns are better than even fds which they shouldn't have said there is no advertising standard in this country and this was what was bandied about and then the prime minister held a meeting which was inclusive because according to some reports not confirmed 6 lakh crore rupees have been invested by indians not in bitcoin but in other currencies where nobody knows what has happened if there is an immediate ban tomorrow then all this money is gone because the guys in hong kong dubai are going to say see you tata if you give time and ban the price will crash all this even bitcoin will be under trouble when america increases interest rates which is about 12 to 15 months away so we do not know what is going to happen and when there has to be some regulation this is going unabated when i spent 3 weeks in salem in march i saw in the hotel where i was staying people hiring rooms 
and doing this business full time. So they are really, people have borrowed money to invest in Bitcoin. So this, and I have also seen what happened in Triplicant, where somebody has vanished. So all this is definitely going to end badly. But who is going to carry the can? Who is going to take the losses? Nobody knows. Is there a history in this? There is a history in this. The great Isaac Newton lost money in the South Sea bubble, which was a stock market bubble. He lost his entire fortune. He said, I can plot the motion of heavenly bodies, but I cannot understand what is happening here. Because those days, stock market was an unregulated game. When Uncle Warren was asked about Bitcoin, he said, Bitcoin is something which has no value. Tulip has no value. But people took a fancy for tulip 500 years ago. The price of tulip went up. There were tulips which did not even grow. The bulb did not give plants. But still they were traded very high. Because there was a fancy for that. Every 100 years there has been, in the prehistoric times, there have been several booms and busts. In the last 100 years, we have talked about the Great Depression. We have talked about the Japanese bubble. We have talked about the tech bubble. We have talked about the 2008 crisis. This is another bubble. Why is this a bubble? If crypto is a currency, then I have a 100 rupee note. Suddenly this 100 rupee note without anything because there is a shortage of 100 rupee notes. It is valued 1800 rupees. When I take it out, I am going to get only 100 rupees out of it. But people want to bid it for 1800 rupees. So why is this happening? Nobody knows. So tulips are still there, but the tulip mania is completely gone. Same way. Like Seth Claremon has a famous parody on these kind of manias. There was a big bubble in sardines once. And a trader who had a lot of sardines decided to treat himself with that sardine. And he opened a box of sardine and tried to eat it. The sardines were bad. And then when his guests asked him, he said these are trading sardines. So there are two types of sardines. Trading sardines and eating sardines. This is the same is true today. There are currencies where demand and supply is managing this price rise. So there is a greater full theory in investment. Somebody who buys last is left holding the king. If I bought Bitcoin 10 years ago, it was worthless then, it is worthless today, there is no value. Some fool wants to buy me for me for, me for 62,000. He is very happy till another fool is willing to buy at 70,000. The day the chain ends, this bubble will burst. When this bubble will burst is what most people ask me. The answer is I do not know. Like the great Seth Claremon once said, we know the end will come, but we do not know when. I warn you, you are not missing out anything. All the profits are illusionary. Without understanding what you are doing, don't try to get led by advertisements and lose money. Thank you for watching. Be rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification. Namaskar, my name is Anand Srinivasan and I am a personal finance consultant. I have two YouTube channels about personal finance. One is in Tamil, one is in Tamil. I have told many friends that I will start a channel in Hindi. So I have started a name of a Hindi channel in a name of a Hindi channel in a Hindi channel. मैं पर्सनल निवेश के बारे में ही बात करूंगा आप उसको सब्सक्राइब करें अपने दोस्तों को शेयर करें अगर आप हिंदी नहीं जानते हैं तो पैसा करें जो आपके दोस्त हिंदी जानते हैं उनको सब्सक्राइब करने के लिए आग्रह करें धन्यवाद नमस्कार